hello in the last video we talked about how to create a product uh, an entity product and uh, and how to add this a uh, product to our database through our uh, through a, a form and uh, so we basically create uh, put our product detail here the product name, price, uh, product price, and product description, and we submitted, and uh, with the pass method, so we get our product detail here to this uh, to the this method. So this method handle the the the, the product detail. And they create a, and we create a new product, uh, an empty object, and we set the, and we set the, the this product detail. So uh, we retrieve this variable, this field here from the our HTML form, and uh, we set set them to our products and then we save our products and uh, we redirect back to our uh, product list, list which is a uh, redirection which is a, a get a get method so the get method will hit here this method and uh, we uh, and we have a model and we uh, we retrieve all our products from the database uh, via this this method. This is the product repository. We will talk about this uh, in later. So, with this method, uh, we we fetch our uh, all our product from the database, and uh, we set them. Uh, we set them to our model and return it return uh, return the page itself which is the list of the product so this is it so what I, what, what I added the uh, what I just added uh, is uh, is a few things just to make our uh, our view our page our view a little bit nicer so just uh, basic bootstrap stuff we added the navbar uh, which hold just two two link with the the first one is add the products and the, the second is the list of the products this is just a bootstrap navbar it's you can find it in the bootstrap uh, uh, which bootstrap site website so and uh, another thing is uh, is uh, what what else we added and we added another thing uh, let's see and uh, we added this uh, form we made our form like the the center so just a uh, bootstrap so let me see we put our form inside the card uh, a div which which is a uh, hold a class of uh, with a card that gives us this border this is a it's called a bootstrap card so it give give us this nice border here and we added this so the card has the class card body and we put our form inside this card and uh, what we need what we needed is to make this form appear in the center of the page so with this class uh, we have a row and inside the row uh, we have a column which is this column is column middle six uh, six just like uh, for the sizing and do it i guess so th this make it stand in the middle uh, so that's it just to create a little bit of, uh, a small nice page just with bootstrap no css we don't have to create any css uh, or anything 
and uh, so that's it and uh, so we have the uh, this uh, bomb here associated to a model a bootstrap model as well so what I want to talk here is we should never so we can change this back to whatever and it changed the same for the price what I want to say here is something very important so we can change any any field here of the product uh, what I want to say is uh, this uh, this should not be appeared here for example this we need this ID we pass this ID here for for the simple reason that that we need to retrieve it to retrieve it here so when for example when we want to change the name uh, change the name so with this ID we can find our products in our database so we use it just to to search the 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 product in the database and retrieve it and set the new name and then uh, save it back again which is just we'll just update it because it's have the same ID this is how GPA works GPA Hibernate works so uh, what I want to say here 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 is uh, you what if for example what if because it's appear here I can change it so uh, no one will stop me so if I change it for example to 13 and we know in our database we don't have any product with that id so what we will get sorry i have the what we will get is an error because we don't have a product for with the id of 30. you can see see yeah let's go back here so it generated the error with no value present so what what happened is this this id came here then when we try to to get to find this product here we couldn't find it so uh, this will generate an error so to in order to av avoid this this we should never let our id to be changed so so what we we if we do is change this is a text input to a height input so we don't want it to be shown we don't want, want it to be shown here but still we want to pass it so we can retrieve our product so that's the idea be behind it so if we we change it ju just for the the name so the same apply for the description and the, the price and if, if we have uh, another field uh, let's wait for the run so we will wait so what we will do now is to add uh, an image to our product and uh, uh, you can see here when we want to add another thing you can see here we don't want to uh, to use this repository here uh, directly in the control so we as our product grow we will add an image probably we will add another another feed so uh, this will grow and we will start writing a lot of code here in the controller to ha to handle the saving or whatever so what we will do is create another layer which is uh, that will connect the the uh, that stand between the database and the controller between the model and the and the and the control which is a service so we, we will create a product service so uh, let me go back and demonstrate this why we should we, we should never 
that our ID be shown there. So now we can change it. Example. Yes, we change it, but we don't have that ID here. We pass it, but it's not shown. So we will start creating a, a, a new package. We will name it so we added a new package which which is a service we name it service and uh, we create a, a, a class which we will name it product service so, and what we need here is a notation that's called a service so it's a, the service is a annotation that's a, some kind of component the the component is like the 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 mother of uh, all the like the the mother of uh, multiple uh, annotation like service uh, repository and so on so what uh, the the com what we need component in spring boot is we can use it we can use it inject it in other classes so we can use it so the service is uh, just a, a, a particular type of uh, component so but before we even implement the service what I'll, what I want to do is uh, add we have the product here what I want to do is add an image we want an image for our product it's going to be a string private string image and we will see how to to persist uh, to uh, to upload this image and persist it to the database and save it to the bed to the database persist we persist object but not object but uh, this is just a field so we will learn how to add this uh, this wool product with the image associated to the database so this column will be this field will be uh, we need a lot annotation so so it's like telling it's gonna be a blob in the uh, be uh, some kind of uh, just like uh, in the database we have uh, a number and we have uh, other uh, other type of uh, of data so we have here for we will be using a lot this annotation and what we need is the column and we create column so we need column and uh, column column definition column definition and we pass it and what we need this column to be a medium medium blob, blob so we can actually save pretty pretty big size image like and uh, I, I guess medium blob will hold an image of uh, the size limit of six or seven I guess megabytes I am not sure and this is a notation so column so here is it and wh what we need is a sitter and getter for this, 
for the image field. So generate, and we got our scissor angle. And uh, what we need to do is, since we added the uh, uh, an image to our products, we need to pass. Uh, we need to pass it here somehow. We need to pass it from the the form. So what I'm I will be using just bootstrap, bootstrap just like always. So my computer will get so slow. I like I like a type of uh, this one so this one basically you can I like this this one the pull so I'll just copy and paste uh, where is the add so this is our form Uh, we have here the before before the submit we will add this and uh, just format it so get it nice there put uh, break line and let's see how it's look looks like so back again uh, here is it we need to give it a label here and then we need another break line uh, here so and before this we need a label 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 and we put whatever here choose a file add an image an image so this is the result we have a nice form with the so we can choose a file here and choose the image so in the next next video what we will see is how to how to submit all this form with this image here and uh, save the our product to the database so see you soon and